In this recording, we'll learn how to compute R square. In deviation form, SRF could be written as, that is a sample regression function. It uh, could be written as yi equals to yi hat plus ui hat. Now, note that uh, we are dealing with deviation form. Okay. It is easier to deal with this computation in case if you deal it in deviation form. So squaring both the sides, you will get yi square equals to yi hat plus ui hat square, which is equal to yi hat square plus ui hat square plus 2 yi hat ui hat. Now summing both the sides you will get summation of yi square is equal to summation of yi hat square plus summation of ui hat square plus 2 will come out of summation sign into yi hat into ui hat. Now note that we have already proved that this is equal to 0. That is, there is no correlation. There is no correlation between residuals between residuals and predicted y. Okay, so what is left out is summation of yi square is equal to summation of yi hat square plus summation of ui hat square. Now, note that you've already proved that yi hat is equal to beta 2 hat xi in deviation form. Okay, so you can write yi hat square equals to beta 2 hat square xi square. So you can substitute it there in this particular equation and you will get beta 2 hat square summation xi square plus ui hat square. Now we'll use this formulation later on but you have to remember this particular formulation definitely that is summation of yi square summation of yi square is equal to summation of yi hat square plus ui hat square. So how do you write this? Summation yi square equals to summation yi hat square plus summation ui hat square. Okay, now how do you write yi square? What is yi? yi is yi minus y bar square. Okay, what is yi hat square? yi hat square is summation yi hat, sorry, minus yi hat bar square plus of course ui hat is same. Now this part, the summation of yi minus y bar is basically total sum of squares. This is explained sum of squares and this is residual sum of squares. Okay. So total sum of squares, it could be broken down into two parts. One is explained sum of squares and residual sum of squares. 
how could we see that in the form of a diagram we can have a look at this here like this supposedly if this is your SRF this is X this is Y and uh, Y bar is sitting somewhere here this is say this point is say Y bar okay now for particular XI for particular XI let me just put up this for particular XI say for example here mm -hmm. this is some XI so according to sample regression function in case of this XI this is not a small XI I'm so sorry this is big XI now in case if I'm going to use this particular XI in order to predict why I had so I'll be able to predict why I had here so this is my why I had why I had okay so this portion this portion this is basically why I had which is why I had minus why I had bar getting but supposedly if actual yi is this you have predicted yi hat as here but actual yi is this so something which you are not able to explain that is your model is not able to explain is ui hat this portion from this to this is ui hat and this entire portion from this yi to y bar is actually yi minus y bar so you could see this that this total sum of squares from this portion to this portion is broken down into two parts this portion the lower portion is your explained sum of squares while this portion is the residual sum of squares okay so going further what you can write is your your you can you can actually divide both the sides by tss huh you can divide both the sides by TSS so what you will get is 1 is equal to ESS upon TSS plus RSS upon TSS so how could you actually write this you can write this as summation of y i hat minus y i hat bar upon summation of y i minus y bar i'm so sorry square plus summation of u i hat square upon summation of y i minus y bar square now this could actually be written as r square okay plus summation of ui hat square upon summation of yi minus y bar square is equal to 1 okay this is basically the percentage how do you write this this is the percentage of total variation percentage of total variation independent variable which is y as explained by the model as explained by the model okay say for example if you have the model which is saying wages are the function of education you have, you have picked up only one variable in your model so this r square is going to explain how much of the changes how much of the variations in wages could be explained by education if you have education plus experience also then then this r square would say how much of the variation in wages would be explained by all the variables which are taken up in the model okay say for example in your model you've taken up 
uh, education and experience. So it will say that how much of the variation in wages could be explained by changes in could be explained by changes in uh, education and experience. We'll do the second part of this computation of R square in the next recording.